everybody and thank you for coming to Koshigumi channel. Today I will be sharing the experience I had last week during spring break with a STEM project camp um, that my mom signed up for me. Um, and in this camp we learned how to build new things and um, I will tell you how they work. So let's get started. On Monday, <laughs> um, we made this maze, a marble maze. We can make our own like kind of maze and it's restructurable so you can reuse all of the cardboard that comes with it. So there's this little, so there are, t there's a finish and a start. In the finish, you make like a little box thing so the marble goes in. But to get to the finish, you have to um, manage to get past all of these holes without your marble falling in. So it's quite hard, but it is tempting. All right, so let's make a structure. Let's try this out, and then if we need to improve something, we'll improve it. So, we're going to start here. Ha! Finished! <laughs> <laughs> So that was quite easy, so let's try to make this obstacle course harder. Right, let's try it now. <gasps> Yay! Finally! <laughs> <laughs> so next up, it's um, Tuesday's structure. This is an elastic car. Um, and how this works is you take the rubber band that's on a hook up here and then there's like this little pirate wheel thing and um, you hook it on like this and then you spin the wheel and then when you let go it will move. Um, at the back, there are rubber bands on so that it will help the um, car grip onto the floor or table and it will help it move smoothly because, okay, let me show you. If we take off the rubber bands, it will still move. It will just move a little wonky and not properly or smoothly. Ready? See, it wastes a lot of energy just spinning in the same spot, but when there's an elastic, um, it moves when the wheel moves. So the elastics really help, even though it's a pain to get on. <laughs> okay, so next up is Wednesday. The Wednesday structure is like a hockey um, stadium. Um, it comes with, I mean, you have to build these little pucks. They don't come in blue, by the way. I just painted them. Um, and this is actually a two-player game. How this game works is there is five pucks on each side. And there's one person on one there's one person on each side. And the first person to get all of their pucks on the other team's side wins. It is pretty hard though. And this elastic is a slingshot. And so in the middle here, there's like a little door or like a window where you have to have the perfect aim and get your puck through here to get to the other side. I'm gonna verse my mom. Two more left. I don't think you're going to win, Mama. <gasps> one more. I'll let you have a little bit longer because you do have one hand. <laughs> if I get this. Yay! I won! But 
to be fair, you do have a disadvantage, so. But anyway, so. Next up is Thursdays. Thursdays was a little bit challenging to build. Um, there was a lot of, um, it works just like Wednesdays, except in like a different structure. So it does slingshot stuff. Like there's like a little marble inside. And this is actually based off of basketball. These are basketball hoops. Um, and then here's the basketball. And then here is where you slingshot it. It's kind of like that pinball machine we built it with another um, with another company. Go make sure to go check that out that video. Um, but anyway, so how this works is so at first me and my mom thought that we were supposed to play like this. Don't play like this. It's quite hard when you do it. You should play like this. So when the ball goes up, Gravity will pull it down, and there's more of a likely chance of it going in a hoop while it goes down. But it is still quite hard. One of the keys to this is changing the angles, because it's always the angles that helps you get it into the hoop. You know what, Mama, you try because you're way better at this than I am. It's pretty hard to get a ball there. Oh, she got it in. What? Next up is the last day of this um, camp. It was Fridays. And believe me, Fridays is so fun. <laughs> okay, so we have a cup of text subjects. What this is, is it's a little grappling hook is it a grappling hook it's a claw it's a claw thing that you can grab i think this will be really useful for like people who 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 like who would want to relax all day and um who would like to not get up from their seat just sitting on their couch wouldn't that sound like a dream <laughs> but anyway so here's a cup of subjects and I am going to try to grab some markers One. I hope I can grab two at the same time but I don't know if that's gonna be possible I think this can only hold one mm -hmm. okay. oh yay I got two mm -hmm. I reached my goal Okay, so there's like this little thing. We call it, we called it an avocado because, to be honest, it does look like an avocado. And it is attached to a string, which is attached to um, the more top part where the, all the action happens. And in the back, there is a little um, split ring that holds like this little um stick we called it a plunger <laughs> um and here there we put two split rings and then attached to the two split ring split split rings is a rubber band so the rubber the um the string which is attached to the middle part where all the action happens um when you pull the string it will pull the rubber band which will make these two clungers clunch. <laughs> um, that's, that's the, I worked really hard to explain that, so I really hope people understand. <laughs> um, so, I'm almost finished with my cup. Um, so yeah, that concludes um, the, the week. 
it was a really fun spring break. I like the learning how all this stuff works, you know. <laughs> um, so I hope I can do this again soon and show what I did to you people out there. <laughs> so for now, bye. Ooh. Now you guys can watch me fix this. Anyways, overall, this was amazing. Um, as I said, I hope I can do this again soon. And so, yeah. Till next time. Bye, bye.